Hello, my Nintendo friends, sisters. It's me, Frederick Ox, the Nintendo fan. And as you guys know, this is the third anniversary to the Legend of Zelda franchise. And what better way it than to the review on the game? But unfortunately, um, I don't have, you know, the Legend of Zelda gold cartridge, but I will get it soon for my collection. And we'll also be getting an unboxing of this Legend of Zelda collector's box. So you can review and unboxing. But again, um,. I'm going to do things a little bit different because, um, again, I don't want to play the game, so I'm going to talk about some of the game and the dungeons and stuff. But also, um, honestly, it's kind of difficult to reveal because, unlike Super Mario Bros., which is also a classic, you know, um, Nintendo game, 8 bit, the Legend of Zelda game is more, I guess, and more trickier. I mean, you know, with the dungeons and, you know, solving the puzzles, you get different items, so. Um, I did my best with the review. I hope you guys will enjoy the review. Uh, it was pretty tricky, but um, I think I did very good with the review. So if you guys do enjoy this, please give me a like and please subscribe to the channel for more Nintendo content. But without further ado, let's get started. The Legend of Zelda is a 8-bit action and adventure game where you play as Link in the land of Hyrule to save Princess Zelda from Ganon. You start with a shield and you get the sword from the old man with one of the most iconic sayings in video game history. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. You explore the world of Hyrule where you go to different places like the Lost Woods or the Lost Hills and you will encounter different enemies like Arcturus red and blue one, Zula, Moblins, red and blue one, Tick Tights, red and blue one, and many more on the overworld. There are eight dungeons, but with the ninth being the final boss. As we know, this is where the iconic dungeons came from in the Legend of Zelda series, and the first Two to four dungeons are pretty easy, but later on the dungeons get tougher. You will have to navigate through the dungeons, but to like on the overworld, you will encounter some enemies. And unlike the enemies on the overworld, the enemies in the dungeons are a lot more tougher. Like for example, wall monsters, wizard world. Duke Nut, and made other enemies like these. There are way so many more you have to battle in order to continue to go through the dungeons. And the first few dungeons is pretty easy to navigate, but the later dungeons, it gets pretty tougher so you need certain items in order to continue. Like for example, there are certain rooms where it's too dark to see. And in order to see, you need either red or blue candles. Or there will be rooms where you need bombs in order to make a path to go to the next room. Once you enter the last room of the dungeons, you will have to defeat a boss. And once you defeat the boss, you will get a piece of the Triforce. And you will need to collect all eight. Overall, I can see why people love this game. And The Legend of Zelda is a fun game with great game design and puzzles. And it's a fun game, but it's also pretty hard. But I do recommend you play this game. After all, this is where The Legend of Zelda series first started. Alright guys, so it's time to unbox the Legend of Zelda Collector's Box. Alright, just to show you what the box looks like. So we got the front here, we got the right side, we got the back, we got the left side, uh, we got the bottom, and we got the top. And one thing you probably noticed, um, it says it's built by um, Culturefly. Um, I am not sponsored, I am not, but I mean, I'd love to be sponsored because I'm going to be 100% honest, um, I love these, these are very good quality of products, so 
Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Hold on. I can't talk today. Let's go ahead and open the box. All right. Okay, you know, let me look away and just um just grab something random. Um, let's see. So the first thing is. Oh, okay. So. Ooh, so this is a Legend of Zelda um bolt pipe pin with Triforce topper. Um, okay, I'll give a much closer picture. Um, actually, let me. So here it is in the package, and uh, let's see. Let me open this up. Oh, the, this is nice. This is oh. okay. This is very beautiful. Um, all right. So there's the Triforce cord, and hopefully you guys can see the camera. But there's this like um, part right here, um, where it has you know Triforce up. Okay, so that's very cool. So yeah, uh, let's give you guys a closer look. Um, at the boil point. But yeah, this is a very cool pin. Let's see. What's next? All right, what's this? Oh, oh, it's a water bottle. Oh, this is cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, let me give you guys like look at this. So this is a plastic, but it's gold, and you can see like the triforce symbol right there. And oh my gosh. Uh, well, looks like I got another water bottle to use. Um, then you guys see the tag. Um, there's the front, and here is the back. But dude, guys, this is super, super cool. All right, what's this? Oh, oh boy, we got a good one right here, guys. So this is the Legend of Zelda Journal. Wow. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to open this. But for you guys, I will open it. Oh, guys, this looks. Oh, oh my god, guys, the details on this journal, like how it looks without the plastic and stuff. Guys, look at this. So, this is the front, and this is the back. Like. Guys, this is. This looks good quality. So, here's the inside. Alright, hopefully the camera can pick this up, but here's the inside, green, nice and beautiful, and we'll come to the other pages. Okay, so they're all the same, but um, we arrived, they're literally all, come on, alright, hope you guys can see this from the camera, but, like, it's, uh, fade to try for, but I really, I really, I'm just, I might start using this to be honest, <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I mean, the collector side me doesn't want to use this, but this is just so awesome. Oh snap. Oh, we have the... Um... We have the blanket. Um, let's save this blanket to last. Uh, only because this blanket is pretty big, and... Alright, so let's save this to last. Okay, guys, so... Nothing is this beautiful pen. Like, look at this. So, by the art, I'm guessing, and I could be wrong, but it looks like it's from Twilight. This is Twilight Princess Link. Link. So, this is how it looks like without the plastic. Uh huh. And without the paper. Um, please give me a second. Alright, so here's the pen itself. Um, hopefully, if the camera's picked up good. There we go. So, that's the front, and here is the back of it. This is a really, really cool pen. Actually, this will look good on my shirt. Uh, all right. So the other thing is, all right, guys. So um, what I have right here is pretty cool. A Legend of Zelda figure and the Master Sword and the Highland Shield and all in gold. Like, look at this. So. Oh, wow, this box kind of weird. Here's the back of it. Do the details on this. Oh, hey, look at the bottom. Uh, hopefully, you guys can see this. But the ball is, you know, triforce and... Sorry, it's kind of hard to say. Okay? Again, I'll try to get better pictures, but... Dude. This is just epic. And it's pretty light. This is, like, awesome. Dude, you have no idea. Alright, and the last one... Um, I say this to last because uh, these blankets are pretty big, 
So please give me one quick second. Alright guys, I'm sorry about that. I just wanted to, you know, move everything out of the way because this... When it comes to blankets, I know these are really big. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Oh snap. I'm gonna open this up and... Huh. Okay. Oh, it's upside down. Okay, so it's not really as big as the other one, but... Alright. Wow. Okay, so if you guys are wondering, this is the map of Hyrule, if I'm correct, and... Dude, look at the detail on this thing. Uh, I'm going to hope you get, um, this will be a, you guys can see a better look uh, on the detail. But, man. Alright. So I know I said when it came to the Mario Brothers collective box unboxing, I said that was the best item because they had the blanket. And I think, okay, honestly, it's between this and the, um, journal. Yeah, between journal and this, but... Dude, this is a beautiful blanket. Just absolutely amazing. Again, it feels high quality and just so just feels so soft. Wow. I love this. This is truly amazing. The Legend of Zelda series is honestly one of the best video game series of all time. And honestly, I fell in love with this series from Breath of the Wild. And I'm glad I played it and I love it. And I'm glad I played um the classic and Resident of Legend of Zelda. Um, again, I don't have the cartridge, but I am going to get it soon. But if you guys want to play the game, there's different ways. You can, like play on your classic NES. Another way of playing it is um, your Nintendo Switch, a part of the Nintendo Switch Online Membership. And another way of playing it is from your NES Classic Edition. So yeah, there's many ways to play this uh, amazing game. And... Again, it's pretty hard. So what I recommend you do is you, um, uh, this is what I did at least. I looked up walkthrough and I looked up uh, like the original game manual for the game and made it so much easier to you know play and complete the game. So yeah, I highly recommend you guys play the game because I mean it's where the Legend of Zelda series first started. So again, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like and please subscribe to the channel for more Nintendo content. Also, please follow my Twitter at PeacefulYoxC7. And remember, the autistic and Nintendo community is more than community for autistic Nintendo family. I am Frederick, the autistic Nintendo fan. I'll see you guys later. Have a different anniversary to the Legend of Zelda. And have a different anniversary to Super Mario Bros. And have a 25th anniversary to the Pokemon franchise. <laughs>